Okay, I'm issuing this challenge out there. I'm looking for... I'm reading these two books that have totally revolutionizing my mind, putting into words a lot of things that have been in my spirit, feeling for a very long time without knowing how to describe it to other people. And the two books are basically crossing over and tying into each other without being meant to do that. But the one is by... The one is one of the most widely known and respected of old Christian writers from the 1600s, Jean Guyon, a French woman who was in prison for her teachings and beliefs and stuff. But it's about finding Christ inside of you, the kingdom of heaven being within you. And that that's the only place that you'll ever truly find Christ and be able to be discipled by Christ and and to submit to his lordship is within you. It's not without, it's not in a pew with a pastor teaching you. It's not even with a Bible. Because a Bible is only leading you to ex to show you in expression those things that are within you. Christ is can only be found in the deep recesses of your spirit. And so not only that, and then there's another book by Gene Edwards I'm reading called When the Church Was Led by Laymen Only, meaning the brothers, the brotherhood. This um, sacred brotherhood, something special that when we come into the body of Christ and into the spirit of Christ that we have something that is beyond blood, beyond anything, that we are connected through the same spirit. We actually see the same spirit in each other and we see God in each other and we lay down our lives for each other. Anyway, so it's just a bunch of radical stuff going on and my ch church plant here is going great and you know what? I'm looking for that to start something radical down here. I'm looking for a brotherhood to start up a brotherhood and I'm trying to extend to you people who may be on the fence saying, you know what, I know that there's more for me in this world. I know that I'm called for something more. I know that God has a bigger plan for me. I'm looking for five, six, or seven people, brotherhood, to leave it all behind. You want something radical. You want to experience Christ. You're not experiencing Christ. I promise you. I don't care how much you go to church. I promise you not how much you're donating your time, you know, doing little committees and doing little things at your church, you're not experiencing the depth of Christ, of what the first early church was when they were together all day long, every day they were in community, around each other, reminding each other, I see Christ in you. Let's talk about Christ. Let's dwell on Christ. Let's be about Christ. Let's work in Christ today. It's not just on Tuesday nights and Sunday mornings and, you know, it's we don't have the ability and the opportunity to experience what they experience. So I'm inviting you to experience that. I'm inviting you to something radical. Sell everything you have and leave it behind. And, and put faith in God in an adventure. Whether it's six months, a year, or permanent, you don't know. Leave it up to God. Leave it in God's hands. Five or six of you. Even if what you have doesn't add up to a, a pile of beans, you know what I mean? We can find a way to get you down here and, and some support. But, um, yeah, man, I have places I can put you up and God will take care of us. Between our minds and our abilities that he's put inside of us, we can provide for ourselves. But, I don't know, a couple thousand bucks would be good for you to come down for, I would think, the year, <laughs> six months or a year. Be radical. You know what I'm saying? The, when the man told Jesus... I've done all these things. I'm keeping the commandments. I'm living a good life. He said, well, then sell everything you have. Give it to the poor and follow me. Pick up your cross and follow me. You want to go on an adventure, a faith adventure? Think about that. Leaving everything behind and come down here and starting a brotherhood with me. Something radical and we're going to change the world.